Come on, Raja. You can do it. Do the doggy paddle like Daddy taught you. Good girl. A lot of you are a bit annoyed with me for not having made a video about how I created Raja. Well, the fact of the matter is I was trying to create a shark for a movie, not a movie about making a shark. But since so many of you asked, I decided to put together a little highlight reel of the main steps. It all started on the drawing board. I took a picture of a tiger shark, which I shot at Tiger Beach in the Bahamas, and superimposed it on a graph so I could measure the relative distances of the different parts. The dorsal fin, the caudal fin, the labial furrow. Yeah, that's really a part. Anyway, I used those measurements to make a scale model to make sure I was on the right track. Looks kind of like a shark, right? All I needed to do was make it three times bigger. Now, if you're working along with me, the first thing you need to make sure is that you're wearing all your necessary safety equipment. That means proper eye protection, quality particle mask, and of course, ear protection. What? Make sure your workspace is meticulously clean and organized, and you have everything you need to complete your task. You're going to need turpentine, a little paint, drill, circular saw, fiberglass resin, putty, latex gloves, this thing, whatever the hell it is, paint, drop cloth, okay. We're ready to go. Step one, carve out a chunk of styrofoam in the shape of a shark. How hard could that be? Short answer, harder than I thought. Step two, keep carving. Step three, you guessed it. Starting to look like a shark yet? To me, it looks more like a guppy. Step four. Carve some more. How about now? Step five, six, and seven. You know the drill. Maybe if I drew some eyes and gill slits on her, she'd look a little more like a shark. Not. Step eight. Give her a mouth so she can smile. Yeah, like that. That's what was missing, her pectoral fins. Step nine, build an undercarriage to hold her pectoral fins. This should have been step seven. Step 10, smooth out the rough edges with Bondo. Love that stuff. It's like Play-Doh for grown-ups. Starting to look like a shark? You tell me. Step 11, the fun part. Ugh, cover the whole thing in fiberglass. Did you know that fiberglass melts styrofoam? Neither did I. Luckily, there's a product you can paint onto the foam that will prevent this. I won't tell you how much it costs. Step 12, yank off all your arm hair with the hardened fiberglass resin that is now permanently affixed to your skin. Oh, you Kind of like that, only so it's not as you. funny. <laughs> Step 13, you guessed it. Add a second layer. This used to look like a shark. Now it looks like a potato. Why am I not smiling here? You'll never guess where that third layer of fiberglass found its way. You know what, guys? This is not a good look for me. Look like I'm almost done? Not by a long shot. Because now comes the really dirty part, the sanding. But that's where Big Bertha really comes in here. You are kidding, I have to chop out all that foam? I got a better idea. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, something easy, the gill slits. But that means another layer of fiberglass and Bondo, step 16. I'm still itching from step 16. Step 17, finally, a layer of primer. It's actually starting to look like a shark again. Step 18, gotta make sure the motor fits. Step 19, Eureka, the first layer of paint. The top is still just flat gray, but it's gonna get its stripes very soon. Step 20, time to add a little black shadowing. 21, highlight the gill slits. 22, add those cold black eyes. You know the thing about a shark, he's got 
lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. When he comes at you, doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. Okay, enough of that. Raja wouldn't bite a flea, would you? I didn't give her any teeth. 23. Add Raja's stripes using a styrofoam mask. 24. Cover the entire thing in two layers of clear coat to protect her finish. 25. Install the power source and burn my entire wardrobe. So there you have her, Raja, from raw styrofoam block to fully functional animated movie prop in 25, no, 26 impossibly complicated steps. And to tell you the truth, if I had it to do all over again, I never would have started. No, no, I didn't mean anything by that, Raja. Daddy loves you, yeah. He's gonna always be glad he created you. Till we see you on the big screen.